come get this smaller camera. That one's not gonna work. Lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring. Ring with the harmonies of liberty. Let our rejoicing. has taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. Facing the rising sun of our new day begun, let us march on till victory. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night. That our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star spangled banner yet wave? For the land of the free and the home of the Class of 2024, you can be seated. Greetings and welcome, everyone, on this incredible, beautiful day. My name is Peter Burroughs, and I'm your superintendent. There is no better place to be than here celebrating this incredible Milton High School class of 24. None whatsoever. Thank you to all who are here to witness the culmination of the journey these seniors have taken to walk across this stage and launch into the myriad of directions they'll go to pursue their dreams. Taking what they've learned here at their core and growing out into the people they will become. Your presence in their lives is 100% foundational. And I know that if they could only thank one person today, it would be all of you who were there for the last 18 years through every bump and bruise and peak on their path. Thank you. Seniors, let's give a round of applause for the people that got you here. Seniors, you've already gotten heaps and heaps of advice on what to do next, what to think about how to be, and what, and what to, to focus, focus on. on. Indeed, Indeed, each and every year seems to see an increase in the extolling of the right way to do things, the right, the right way, way to, to look, look, or the right path to take. With the further omnipresence of digital media and messaging, all you need to do is open up an app, and guaranteed, you'll find guidance and direction on what you should be wearing, what kinds of jobs you should do, or how people will perceive all the choices you make. In modern life, we are constantly drawn out of ourselves. Given this, it can be easy to judge ourselves based on all the constructs that surround us physically and digitally, and not even realize we are doing it. When you see yourself through other people's perspectives, it's hard to find the space to actually understand where you are and what you believe and feel. 
It's an untethered experience. And yet take away all the external inputs and pressures and you are you, solid and grounded and present. As you step into the next phase of your life, consider how you sustain this focus at the core of who you are, what you believe, and what you value. In that barrage of information that is coming at you in the next days, weeks, months, and years of your life, how will you find a way to be rooted and clear as you make key decisions, decide your direction, and continue to grow your life out into the world? How will you be centered through all of it? Each one of us has to answer these questions on our own. It's not like a recipe book where we can follow the directions, tag along with the best chefs, and then find our way there. Each one of us has to do the work to figure out for ourselves how to reach that clarity of purpose and direction. And that means finding time in the extremely stimulating reality of 2024 to slow down the mind, to think deeply, and to better understand who you are. In 2011, when Maya Angelou was 82, she was asked by a reporter if she was nostalgic about all the impressive things she had accomplished in her life, and if she looked back on them and felt deep satisfaction. She responded by saying, I have great respect for the past. If you don't know where you've come from, you don't know where you're going. I have respect for the past, but I'm a person of the moment. I'm here, and I do my best to be completely centered at the place I'm at. Then I go forward to the next place. This is that place. Not viewing yourself through other people's eyes, but to see clearly with your own fully present in the moment. As you take the next steps in your journey after graduation, take the time to reflect on what's important to you, what's meaningful, and how the decisions you make will move you in the directions that serve who you are. Being able to be fully present in the moment is continual work. It's a practice. It's easier for worry and fear to take you away from the present moment, and you can be catapulted into the past or the future in the blink of an eye. Find ways to stay rooted as you experience the growing wonder of building your life and your impact on the world. The great nature writer Wendell Berry captures this perfectly in his poem, The Peace of Wild Things. He writes, when despair for the world grows in me and I wake in the night at the least sound, in fear of what my life and my children's lives may be, I go and lie down where the wood drake rests in his beauty on the water and the great heron feeds. I come into the peace of wild things who do not tax their lives with forethought of grief. I come into the presence of still water and I feel above me the day blind stars waiting with their light. For a time, I rest in the grace of the world and am free. Class of 2024, there is a world out there that is waiting for you. And we are all, everyone here today, and thousands more that couldn't make it, so thankful for the people that you've become. And we are filled with incredible anticipation of the great things you'll do. Class of 2024, well done and congratulations.
please join me in thanking the efforts of our Milton High School Senior Chorus and our Milton High School Marching Band. Absolutely beautiful. At this time, I would like to invite Lucy Asanza to the podium as our selected senior speech. Lucy? The other day, I asked Mr. Puglia, are you even able to say anything nice to me? He'd be delighted to tell you all how statistically significant it was to have me in class for three years, despite the low probability of that happening. For those who don't know, Mr. Puglia's sense of humor consists of lighthearted insults. He responded to my question with probably the best thing he could have said to me. You're always in the hallway with a friendly demeanor. In my years here, I've learned that many of us have created ride or die friendships, but sometimes it's those day-to-day -day interactions that have the most impact. And these often happen in the hallway. For example, there is one custodian with blonde hair who I have seen frequently over the years. Every time we passed each other in the hallway, she greeted me with a warm hi and how are you? The exchange has always been brief, like that, until one day, a couple weeks ago, when I was on a walk, upset after a hard test. She stopped me and said, you looked beautiful yesterday, referring to the Scholastic Honors Night. I didn't know her name at first. I only knew her kindness in the halls. So last week, in the last week of school, I went into the custodian's office across from the teacher's lounge and introduced myself. Her name is Judy. Another example is on prom weekend when I spent two nights down the Cape with 30 other kids. Although we didn't all have classes together, I'd see them in the hallways. But every stranger in the hallway becomes a friend around the campfire. That Sunday night around the little fire pit became the highlight of my weekend. When I looked up, I noticed not a single one of us were on our phones. Just a bunch of high schoolers burning marshmallows, asking each other to pass the graham crackers, and whispering variations of truth or dare in the firelight. These are examples of relationships that were created through small interactions, whether we knew it or not. When the interactions come from people you wouldn't expect it from, they feel more sincere because you know that somebody went out of their way to brighten your day. This reassurance is crucial in high school where many of us may have built up walls to hide our insecurities and low self-esteem. I've found that by simply saying hi to others, those walls are knocked down and you have welcomed even one more person into your circle. By reaching out, you boost someone's confidence and you are both rewarded with a new relationship rooted in supporting one another. We won't ever walk through these hallways as students again so after today, the chance to say hi to those people you have passed every day will be gone. But the chance to say hi to the people you encounter tomorrow will never be gone. After today, whether you become a TV star, lawyer, chef, or teacher, the effortless action of saying hi is all you need. Don't underestimate its simplicity, because although this one word seems insignificant, you establish a relationship with every person you say it to. So as you enter the world where forces are working to strain our relationships, be the reason people feel seen. Extend your hand and do what I did the last couple weeks. I said hi to everyone. I would like senior class president Van Tran to come to the podium, please. Hey guys. All right.
Good afternoon, class of 2024. I used to pray for times like this, standing before all of you. I'll start by congratulating each one of you. We made it. We started high school in the height of the pandemic, and our class will be the last to say this. We have had a unique high school experience, all thanks to the effects of COVID during our freshman year. Though we may have lost some traditions and opportunities, I'd like to think we've gained many more. We bonded over our shared feelings of hopelessness and solitude, yet more importantly, we rejoiced together after seeing our friends come out of quarantine with brand new buzz cuts. Convinced we resembled Channing Tatum or Brad Pitt, you didn't. <laughs> Consequently, some of us discovered that a textured fringe or modern mullet was the best way to look good again. We were together through each other's highs and lows. We stuck together and charged forward elbow to elbow as best as COVID restrictions would allow us. Graduating high school is no small feat. You all have emerged from the scorching third floor classrooms and frigid open window COVID policy, not unscathed, but alive. So again, good on us. Now it may be shocking to many of you, but to be honest, despite the AP English classes I took, I didn't read that many books in high school. In my quest for a quotation, I thought back to the last time I fully read a book cover to cover. That book was Freak the Mighty by Robin Philbrick. The quotation reads, no matter where you go, there you are. Through our long 18 years of life, we have been slowly, slowly molded and sculpted by the people, activities, and environments we surround ourselves with. Each of your closest friends, parents, role models, teachers, and siblings form some part of who you are. Consequently, MHOP, The Cage, Dairy Freeze, the Pierce Cafeteria before school on rainy days, they are a part of you as well. As you venture into the next chapter of your life, remember that even when you are feeling lonely, you are not alone. The adventures you will embark on and the places you will go, you are carrying everyone with you. Though we may be physically hundreds to thousands of miles apart, we will always be there for you and with you in spirit. There will be times this summer where we will cry. Some with snot running down their noses, others with a single tear or maybe a small sniffle if you're tough. I'd like to quote one of my favorite songs as our graduation approached. Zach Bryan sings, I wish I didn't, but I do. Remember every moment on the nights with you. Obviously, he was referring to the unfortunate end of a relationship in this song, yet, yet in a sense, this graduation also feels like a breakup. This breakup is the end of a 13 year relationship for some and nine months for others. Either way, it should make you sad. The goodbyes are and will always be difficult because of how much fun and love we've shared and had for each other. From Gillette to the disco, to hours prepping for a show or play, to poetry clubs, and to the weirdest conversations we've had at our lunch tables, those have been our dates as a class. Even though we're breaking up, I'm sure we can still be friends. So please, call me. <laughs> Relay to me your latest crazy adventures. Tell me when your team plays or your band has a gig. Let me know if there's a word. Inform me of any events you're planning Enlighten me with fun facts about your research or field of study, and call me whenever. If I don't pick up after four rings, let me finish my nap, and I'll call you right back. Promise. Congratulations, class of 2024. We did it, and I love you guys. High school forever. Thank you, Van and Lucy. Well done. Good afternoon, students, families, Superintendent Burrows, Assistant Superintendent Pavlicek, School Committee Chair Dr. Carroll, Vice Chair Dr. Miranda, members Loring and Varghese, members of, of the Select Board John Cohane, Roxanne Musco, 
Richard Wells, Ben Zoll, Representative Driscoll, Senator Timothy, faculty and staff. Thank you for joining us today as we celebrate our class of 2024. I would like to recognize the efforts of Mrs. Jen McCullough, Dr. Noctran, Mr. Brian Mackinaw, Mrs. Jenny Bellavo, Dr. Kelly Connedy, our custodians, consolidated facilities, and students who helped to make today happen. There is a lot of work that goes into today's event. With our thorough help, this would not be possible. Thank you all. We started this journey together in August 2020. Some of you not ready to walk into the building, so chose a remote education. And some of you who chose to return to school, where you were sitting six feet apart from your peers, following arrows, marks on seats for where you could sit, and unsure of what the next four years would look like for you. Watching you all grow into the young adults I see before me makes me proud of each of your accomplishments. Four years later, I can say with confidence that the class of 2024 is an amazing group of people that I can say, I knew you when. I knew them when they were insecure freshmen entering high school during a worldwide pandemic, unsure of what the next four years would hold, but then found their way sophomore year, settling into our new reality, more resilient and determined and watching out for each other and supporting their peers to be the best versions of themselves, being kind and showing compassion. I knew them when they took risks on the stage, on the field and on the courts where they had sold out shows won Super Bowls, broke school records, and worked as teams to accomplish great things. And if you haven't been paying attention to our spring sports, they still are. I knew them when they were kind enough to support a principal who was finding her way to do right by each of them for their own unique needs and provide feedback so I could make Milton High School a school they could be proud of. I knew them when they challenged themselves in the classroom and got accolades locally and nationally for the work they've done when they took courses to earn early college credit and to prepare for the world beyond Milton High. Have you all seen the places that they will go? I knew them when they painted a mural on a wall at Milton High to leave behind an expression of what these past four years have meant to them. And when their music groups played local events and venues and we were able to tell people, yes, they are students from Milton High School. I can say I knew them when, because one day when they all find their place, it will be the Milton Public Schools where they got their start. You have all made me proud for your individual achievements, whether you have thought they were significant or not. I look at each of you as my extended family, children who I will forever be grateful for knowing and proud to say, I knew you when. I am honored to present each of you with your diploma today, and I look forward to seeing what your accomplishments are in the future. Whatever path comes next for you, whether it's college, the military, the workforce, I hope you know you will always have a home here at Milton High School. Congratulations, congratulations to each of you, Milton High School's class of 2024. Well done. At this time, I would like to present each of our graduating seniors with a diploma from Milton High School. Mr. Mackinac, Ms. Tran.
Elizabeth Erin Aguilar. Hilda Liana Alexis. Grace Maria Analetto. Isabel Rose Appleman. Yeah! Woo! Lucy Shomei Asanza. Una Florence Bard. Charles Toussaint Bastian. Catherine Minnie Best. John Thomas Best. Jasmine Marie Bethay. Carly Levine Blow. Nasia Simone Body. Yeah. <laughs> Emily Belinda Bolin. Afua Shanti Bosk Hamilton. Yeah! Samuel Conrad Boucher. Kaylee Ellen Boynton. <laughs> Lily Josephine Brockmeyer.
Nathaniel Joel Brown. Cormac Oliver Burke. Benjamin George Steyer Caledonia. Kareem James Kamara. <laughs> Ella Marie Cantor. Greta Christine Cardoza. Yeah. Right. Alec Thomas Carew. Crystal Tia Carter. Yeah. Liam Kenneth Cardi. Connor J. Cavorsi. <laughs> Maya Alexandria Senefield. Yeah. Kylie Rose Chamberlain. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Go, Kylie. Daniel Ziad Shamoon. Lila Camille Shamoon. <laughs> Taylor Chan. Wyatt Cole Changizi. Yeah. Kylie Y. Mun Chin. Samantha Carmen Chu. Lauren.
Foley Shevatoni. Anthony Edward Wayne Ciceroni. Jacob Ralph Claudemir. Jasani Gomani Cohen. Edward Christopher Collins. Ferris McCampbell Collins. Meredith Ann Collins. Luke John Conlin. Owen Michael Cormier. Josephine Baker Correa. Nora Kathleen Cox. Owen Michael Creamer. Colin Austin Crean. Aiden William Crummy. Christopher York Cunningham. <laughs> Catherine Marie Curley. Vanessa Syriac.
Atticus Jude D'Alessandro. Yeah. Neve Margareta Darcy. Yeah. Jacob Daly. Jack James Delaney. <laughs> Kyle Xavier Denny. Reed David Dexter. <laughs> Natalia Sofia Diaz. Emerson James Dobrint. <laughs> Aiden William Doherty. Natalie Claire Doran. <laughs> Catherine Mary Drozdick. Maxwell James Dunn. Martin James Erner. Trinity Eggbon. <laughs> Ogena Keva Ego Dobare. Nathan Jordan Ewe. <laughs> David Osaide E. Haber.
Kara McCarthy Facey. Robert James Feetham. Milan Rebecca J. Fergus. Grace Emily Festa. Violet K. Figueredo. Alexander Tilden Files. <laughs> Hannah Catherine Finn. Sean Patrick Finn. <laughs> Juno for Juno Gray Forgs Gilbert. Stacy Kathleen Francois <laughs> Malcolm Wallace Frank McKnight. John Patrick Gallahue. <laughs> Catherine Mary Gannon. John Christopher Giluli. <laughs> Margaret Leonora Glenn. Lucas Gomes Voss. <laughs> Miguel Gomes Voss. Kyle Alexandre Braga Gontigio. Yeah. 
Benjamin John Gray. Daniel George Gray. Thomas Brinsley Griffin. <laughs> Haley Abigail Guerrero. Luke Hughes Haley. Jack Peter Haney. Lee Nicholas Haney. Margaret Rose Harris. Lucas Jeremy Hartford. <laughs> Abdullah Mohammed Hassan. Jack Benjamin Hawker. Xavier Akeem Hawkins. Charles Weber Heffron. <laughs> William Walsh Heffron. Eleanor Kathleen Hegarty. John Joseph Helmuth. John Thomas Henry. Margaret Grace Henry. Derek Alberto Mackay Hercule. Yeah. 
John Elson Hicks. Julia Kathleen Higgins. Lucille Sitton Hollingsworth Hayes. Quinton William Hopkins. Elias Fitzgerald Howland. <laughs> Abigail Susan Hunt. Madison Rose Hunt. Ethan Bao Huin. Fayola Jean Baptiste. <laughs> Darnell Noah Jean Pierre. Mia Pearl Jelani. Dion Mackay Johnson. Emerson Francis Johnson. Lauren Calise Johnson. Nico Natavian Ray Jones. <laughs> Kean William Jordan. Valentino Kelici. <laughs> Emmett Patrick Kelly. Samantha Kerry Kelly.
Jerry Michael Kennedy. Elisa Frega Kettler. Pulani Cafella. Ilya Kushnarev. Anna Elizabeth Labby. Abigail Rebecca Lane. <laughs> Zoe Rain LeBron. Chalice Medina Leotsakos Gustav. <laughs> Julia Grace Levro. Isaiah Richard Liriano. <laughs> Charles Gaetano Little. Molly Dwyer Lovett. Jack Edward Lowe. James Martin Lowe. Tyler Lum. Shakora Lee Lynch. <laughs> Alessandra Rose Lyons. William McLean <laughs> Rachel, 
Reagan Kelly Mahoney. Mary Catherine Maloney. Moses Max Mann. Neve Teresa Mannion. Gracia Isabella Manrique Casada. Julia Murray Mansville. Finn Benjamin Robert Marbury. Neve Kelly Martin. <laughs> Noel Martin. Marie McAnulty. Kaisel McCabe. <laughs> Sophie McClare McCarthy. Jane McConville. <laughs> Rowan Alexander McCullough. Sean McDermott. Andrew 
McHugh. Lucian Marley McPherson. James Miskell. Gary Mitchell. Cesar Murphy. Sifa Nail Mosa. Elizabeth Mylod.
Sofia Isabel Navas. Leandra Nicole Nazaire Charissa. James Novak. <laughs> Margaret Elizabeth O'Connor. Siobhan Ashling O'Donnell. Osambudiamen Franklin Odeon Opec Bar.
Rogan Mark Pater. Mason Nee Pellegri. Anderson Perez Ruiz. Vanula Pearl Quayley. Yeah. <laughs> Kai Celestiel Quinones. Margaret Regan. Marguerite Ann Renaud. Joshua Richard Riccardi. Patrick 
Ryan. Samira Louise Sabat. Aiden Julius Sadler. Benson Stowell Jack Daniel Sullivan Stephen Sullivan Robert Bieberge. Yeah. 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 Daniel. 
Daniel Johnson Benoit Thomas. David Thompson.
Ria Zhu. Forgetting about our final project. Oh, I'm so sorry. With the class of 2024, please stand. Okay. It is my distinct honor, honor to ask, ask the class of 2024, 2024 to move your tassels, tassels from right, right to left. left. Thank you. 